Don't you just love it when you come across one of those teams who are super fast, super pacey all over the field and they just run you ragged and you've no idea what's going on and you lose the game sometimes quite heavily. Um, you have no idea what's gone on and you've no idea how to deal with that kind of team. Well, there is a way and today we're going to show you how I deal with uh, that kind of pace and what I would do to try and counter that. And we're going to play a game um, and just to see um, if it actually works out. So, let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to the Liberty Stadium in Swansea. And welcome to another tutorial with Old Man Phil. And today we're going to be looking at pacey teams and how it's possible to counteract that. And what I, what I will do um, when I am facing such opposition. And today I have a home game against Wolves and I'm very well aware of Wolves. Very, very fast pacey team and I have other problems um, in terms of my own team's fatigue and their tiredness and uh, if I look at the Wolves team report um, I can immediately see that they are very pacey and I don't need to look at the team report for Wolves because I know they are pacey and um, they have um, a couple of very pacey strikers and two very pacey wingers and two very fast fullbacks and I need to find a way to deal with that pace especially as my team are playing twice a week they are exhausted they are making mistakes they're making errors and if I don't do something I'm going to be in danger of um, losing this game big now up top they have two very very fast um, strikers in uh, Huang and um, and Jimenez and I have to find a way to stop them becoming part of the game that in essence is what we're going to try to do stop them getting the ball um, in terms of the wingers both of these are very fast they have phenomenal speed both of them Podence and uh, Traore um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them the space that they want I'm going to give them those channels down the wing and um, we're not going to do anything to try to stop them getting into those spaces. That part of the field I'm going to give to them. But the secret is what we do once they get into that part of the field. Um, we're going to, um, the, in terms of the fullbacks, what we will do with the fullbacks is I want them coming inside. I don't want them bombing down the flanks. I want them coming inside to where my strength is in the center of the midfield but we're going to give the outside space to the um, to the wingers and let them have that part of the field. Now in terms of my own tactic, and it really doesn't matter what formation you're using, um, could be wingers, could be strikers, you could have um, all sorts of uh, permutations, you might have an attacking midfielder in there and a diamond, um, it doesn't really matter about the formation, you have enough players on the pitch in order to achieve um, what you need to do here. Uh, these players could be anywhere, so the formation really is irrelevant. So what, what we need to do is we need to um, absolutely be focused on um, what we're actually trying to do. So we don't want our fullbacks bombing up and down the pitch because we could get caught out of position. And with players who are that fast, we don't want our fullbacks high up the pitch. We also um, want very good, strong players at central defender who are very good in the air and I have two very very good players and also a goalkeeper who's very good aerially and then I want ball winners in midfield and I've got um, my best ball winners who I'm going to play in midfield one's a Mazala one's a central mid on support and we have a, a ball winning defensive midfielder on support now their job is going to be to um, force the fullbacks inside and then the ball winning midfielder will come up and make the numbers um, 
to take out the um, opposition central midfield. And the uh, front three, they're going to have a lot of work to do today. They're going to be pressing the goalkeeper and the central defenders um, and hopefully forcing them into an error or forcing them to play long because I don't want um, Wolves playing out from the back and finding easy passes to the central midfielders. So in terms of, I'm not going to change anything about how I play. Um, we're going to continue to counter-press and to counter. I, I want to win the game, and so I'm going to play um, to win. Um, but we are going to use just a standard trigger press. Um, we're not going to be pressing them too much. They're too fast, too skillful, and we'll make mistakes. But we are going to be asking our forwards to be pressing on the goalkeeper and the central defenders. And we are going to start it with a standard um, line of engagement, but we could alter that if we feel it's necessary during the game. And um, the idea then is to um, tight mark their uh, central midfield and make sure their central midfield are not in a position to feed the two very fast strikers. I'm going to start again with a standard line of defense um, and we are going to allow them to have the outside of the pitch. In terms of tackling, just going to leave it as it is. Um, and I am going to use the offside trap um, to try to um, catch them out. In terms of what will happen then, I want my fullbacks both on sit narrower. And that will again allow the, um, the wingers to have that space. Um, outside them and we are not going to press them or try to deny them that space we're going to give it to them track them and then the secret ingredient um, of when we actually catch up with them and this is what I think makes all the difference is what you actually do in terms of opposition instructions because for very fast and pacey teams I'm going to change um, the opposition instructions I want my midfield to win the battle um, and therefore I'm going to need to change um, how I actually play the game and when we play the game, the game against Wolves you see that we actually did dominate the midfield and at the, at the back we made terrible errors um, I, I had to berate the defense at one point because they they are so tired they're making terrible errors but we won the match and um, I think it's to do with how you set up um, the fullbacks, your fullbacks and your midfield, and also how you approach the opposition. Now, for the um, fullbacks, we want them coming inside. As I said, we want them to come inside. So the only thing I'm going to do with them is to force them onto their weaker foot. So the the right right fullback will be forced onto his left foot, and the left fullback will come on. To his right foot and that means that they're going to be passing or running into the center of the pitch we want to turn them basically the central defenders and the goalkeeper we are going to trigger press because it's a standard press it won't be all the time and um triore on the wing um we're not going to close him down or tight mark him um and the same goes for netto they're too skillful too fast to um, risk making mistakes. But we are going to show Triore, um, if we look at him, he has a reasonable left foot. We are going to show him onto his left foot. That means we are going to force him outside, but then force him to turn. And then once he's turned, we are going to hard tackle him on his weaker foot. And the same goes for Neto. What we're going to do is show him the outside where he wants to go and then um, we are going to turn him onto his weaker foot and then hard tackle him on his weaker foot. Central midfielders, we are going to tight mark um, so that to deny them space and we are going to press, uh, sorry, we are going to mark them out of the game. We are going to show them also onto their weaker foot um, so that they're actually spraying balls into the channel rather than trying to find a, a more killer through ball through the middle. So we're going to give away that space and then turn the, the fullbacks and the 
and the wingers and hard tackle them um, before they can actually do anything. And you'll see an example of that or two in when we play the game. And uh, Jimenez and Huang, we're not even going to touch them. We think, and I'm confident, that if we have done the right thing, we'll take them out of the game completely and they won't be able to do anything. The central defenders are very, very important. They need to be um, strong and they need to be, uh, have, be very, very good in the air. I'm just going to switch one of the fullbacks from that team to Augustinson and we'll, we'll get on with the game. And we, we made a fairly good start, um, had most of the ball in the first few minutes. Um, but then um, Wolves tried to come down, Samedo tried to go down the right, but we turned him. And when we turned him and hard tackled him, we took the ball off him. And um, immediately that set us up and Augustinson, he was forced outside. But he managed to get his cross in. It was blocked. The shot was blocked. Vitinha fed the lap, and we were one nil up. And that all came because we had um, allowed the fullback the space, and then we turned him once he was in that space. And we we were doing quite well. We had the ball, um, but we were making mistakes, and we were giving the ball away. You can actually see that we are in perfect position to deal with the pace. We're not. We're, we're not actually tight marking them. We're in a position where we're just allowing them to have the space. But we are so tired. We are making terrible mistakes. And, but if we look, then what we do is we force Wolves outside again. We're going to give them, there's that big space. But now we want to turn him. He needs to be turned, but Augustinson doesn't turn him. And there's a soft header, and the, and the wolves equalise. That is something I cannot do anything about. That is two errors. Firstly, Augustinson did not turn the fullback, and secondly, um, our goalkeeper had an absolute nightmare. Um, but technically, had he turned Samedo, that would have come to nothing. But we come back into the game, and we um, are still playing well. And um, Delap is through with a ball over the top. He finds Grimes and Grimes, and that's only a good save that stops us going to to one up. We haven't changed the way that we are playing in possession. We've changed the way that we are playing out of possession. And there's another corner. Grimes picks it up, and we lose the ball um, again. It's an error, and there's nothing you can do to manage errors. Um, but luckily, as Neto came forward, he lost control of the ball and Fisher was able just about to see that one off. Um, we, we are tired. We're a tired team and making mistakes. So two mistakes have nearly cost us big time. But luckily, um, they didn't. And uh, Neves, Neves is looking for um, Jimenez and he's coming inside. We failed to force them outside, but again, a long range shot. Um, it just went over the bar. So things are going okay. Um, they're not actually running us ragged at this point. We're just, we, we're not ahead because we've, we're making mistakes again. And that's tiredness. I don't know how to deal with that yet. <laughs> um, I have to try and figure that out. But we're still playing our own game and Grimes fed in Satriano and we took the lead. Um, it was over the line. Uh, VAR had a look and it was confirmed as a goal. We went back into the lead. Um, and um, I, at one point, I'm having to berate my defence because they are just terrible at the moment and making dreadful errors. But we persisted, we persisted, and we kept coming forward. And um, our own game, in terms of attacking, is working very nicely. But again, we are making errors. Delap makes another error. But what we're going to do is we're going to force them outside because we're giving them the space. Again, he's got to go outside. And now we'll turn him. The ball is fed across to the other side. And what we're going to do is exactly the same. We're going to force him to turn. He turns. And um, because he's turning all the time, he's on his weaker foot. And we've managed to snuff out the danger. Um, we had a few problems with some uh, set pieces here. Again, it's, there's nothing I can do about set pieces. Um, but again, 
Wolves have the ball out wide. We are not going to allow them to come inside. And there's a little cross, and Fisher, good in the air, he deals with that. They pick the ball up on the right again. We're forcing them to turn again. And as you can see, he has to turn. And when they're turning, they're losing the pace. Um, again, we're going to try and make him turn. We don't that time. But the cross, because we have big centre-backs, the cross is easily dealt with. Wolves are starting to get a little bit confused. They're not being able to use that, that pace that they have to exploit um, our defence. Again, we force the goalkeeper to go long. Reese Williams picks it up. He finds Mata, who finds Delap. Delap's not playing very well, and he keeps losing the ball. And um, they are with the ball again, but we're going to force them wide again, and that's the secret to this. Keep forcing them wide and then turn them. And um, the tactic is working absolutely delightfully at the moment. Again, he's had to turn. That means they can't use the pace. They do create a chance, and that should he should have scored, um, but we survived, and we're still 2-1 up. And... Um, it, it to, to me it looks good. It's it's working very nicely at the moment, and um, but here come wolves again and down the right, and we're not going to let him go inside. We forced him outside again, turn him, and there's a hard tackle, and we win the ball. Um, that's how how this tactic works. You're not going to allow them to to play the game that they want to play it. And um, again, we have the ball here. Um, but again, we lose the ball, and we are in trouble. Um, but because what we're going to do, um, <laughs> Mata wins the ball and then gives it straight back. But we force them outside again, force him to turn, and um, House does enough to put off Jimenez, um, and his header goes wide. Again, that all came from a mistake by Mata, um, and that is something that... The, there's nothing tactically I can do about that. Again, we have the ball, though, and uh, Mata, again, he's um, trying to go forward. He finds Grimes. Grimes is into Delap, and working the ball nicely, there's a cross into the middle, and we almost scored again. Um, so we're not changing the way we play. We're changing the way that we defend rather than how we attack. Now, I have noticed the good news is that Wolves have changed their system. They've changed their formation, which means that we are beating them, and they know we are beating them and realize they have to do something different. Now they only have one player each side out wide, so I'm going to tight mark those two now, and I'm also going to um, tight mark um, and hard tackle and put the attacking mid onto his weaker foot. We've got them in the palm of our hands now, they have pretty much said to us, you are beating us. We have to try and find a way to beat you. And again, we're not going to change our game. We are beating them, they're right. And Vatinho goes through and Satriano manages to make it 3-1. The fact that they had to change what they were doing meant that um, they pretty much decided they were beaten. And um, again, we lose the ball. Um, we're not changing the way we defend. We are going to force them to go out wide and then try to make them turn. We got ourselves in a mess. Another mistake when um, Reese Williams, the central defender, um, was out of position. But again, as you saw, we made them turn and the shot was off target um, after it was laid back. Crossing it into the box now, we can deal with that. Um, got to remember that Wolves are tiring. We are in the ascendancy because they've pretty much given up on what they were trying to do. Um, and now what they're trying to do, they probably don't know themselves. They're just trying to attack us more. We're keeping our shape, keeping the way we play. And um, there's a ball over the top. And Vatinia, he makes it 4-1. And this has now become embarrassing for Wolves. And this has all happened simply because we have forced them out wide, stopped them by not pressing and by not tight marking them. It means that we can just track them. We then stop them, turn them, 
and then we go in aggressively on them when they're on their weaker foot. And this system seems to work. And again, there was that aggressive tackle, but we forced him to turn again, and we've dealt with the cross. Well, when they turn, they're not able to use the pace. They have to, they're running at speed, and they have to stop. And that's the secret to this. Make them turn. And then um, they, what they, is their strength, they cannot use. Um, and it works. And we can see here, we are beating Wolves. Um, a team that we have traditionally had trouble with, we are now beating them by four goals to one. And, and just after half time, they pretty much gave up on what they were trying to do tactically and changed the system completely. You can see Samedo again coming forward. We forced him wide and we force him to turn again and hard tackle him. And we deal with the situation quite well. If my team were 100% fit, then we would have won this game, I think, by even more. But because we are so tired and making mistakes, um, sometimes uh, we're in seventh now, but we're not doing better because mistakes I can't manage for. Um, and that's it. I mean, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, then um, subscribe, like, watch and comment. Help us to support the very worthwhile cause that you can see scrolling above. And all that remains um, for me to say now is thanks for watching. And, um, oh, if you uh, do want to follow our Swansea save, as I said, we've just moved up to seventh in the Premier League. We are pretty much qualified for the Euro Cup. We're busy, tired, and doing our best to keep our head above water. Um, hopefully, we'll see some of you there. Until next time, take care now.